Dan Horta, Bearcats football practice with a guy who scored two touchdowns in the game one win over Alabama A&M, wide receiver Johnny Holton. On that first one, there was a camera on the sideline that picked up on you saying, first touchdown at the new nip or something to that effect. <laughs> was that a big deal for you? Well, it was, yeah, it was something like a big deal because the receiver were competing to see who would get the first touchdown, and I guess I came over top with it. <laughs> yes, you did, and it wasn't the only one you had. You had a long touchdown catch from uh, Gunnar Keel later in the game, but how did you feel uh, about opening the season uh, as well as you did? Well, I felt pretty good coming in, like doing pretty good in the game. We worked all summer like to get to that point and all camp, and then the receivers, they were pushing me to get better, and I guess I came a little better. I still got a lot of work to do. How far has your understanding of the game come from last year, your first year with UC, till this year? Well, I say I'm about like close to about 88 percent. I still got a lot of work to do because I got to continue to get the depth of my routes and continue to catch the ball better. For people that don't know your history, you didn't play high school football because you were working to help support your family. You're one of 11 kids. Then you went to junior college before coming to UC. How much more complex and complicated is the offense? for UC compared to what you did in junior college? Well, at junior college, it was just get Johnny the ball. <laughs> at UC, we got a lot of signals. We got a lot of plays going on, so it's very difficult. Literally just get Johnny the ball? I mean, was it like a, a you know backyard type thing where you just run out and, they, and they'd throw it to you? Yeah, it was literally like uh, Johnny run a post, Johnny run a fade, uh, Johnny run a slant, and just get me the ball. And here, you're often operating with three and four wide receivers on the field, so the routes, you know, it's very important for you guys to know exactly what you're doing so that you're not, you know, running into somebody else's uh, route. Yes, sir. It's very important to know what we're doing. Our coach owner us a lot, like, to know what we're doing, like, get in the film room and study to get the plays better. All right, let's talk about this week's game. Temple opened the season with a 17-point win over Penn State. Did that open your eyes? Well, I had Temple to win the game because I wanted Temple to win so it would look better if we win against them. So that was like a big win for Temple, but I already knew their defense was good and their offense was all right. They're a pretty good team. I seen it last year we played against them, but we got a good uh, game plan for them this week. You managed to beat them last year 14-6, to six, but I think that was the fewest yards that Cincinnati's offense had in a game all year. So as you were saying, you know just how good that defense is, and they sacked Penn State 10 times last week. Yeah, that was amazing. Second, uh, the quarterback supposed to be like the number one quarterback from Penn State, and they sacked him 10 times. So that was a good job with their defense. But I feel like last year we weren't like too much focus, and we didn't come out and execute the way we supposed to. But yeah, this yeah. year should be a different story. Sorry for interrupting. What did you think of the atmosphere at Nippert last Saturday night? It was amazing. Like the most amazing part was seeing the fans standing in the rain and wouldn't leave like when it was thundering and lightning. I was afraid for them, but they loyal your fans and I appreciate them for that. The student section in particular? Yes, sir. A little bit different from College of DuPage, I would imagine. Yeah, way different. College of DuPage, you only had like 200 fans. This was totally different. You're going to have about 40,000 on uh, Saturday night. Should be a great game. Yeah, I can't wait for it. All right, two touchdowns in uh, game one. Let's hope for more of the same against the Temple Owls. Johnny, thanks for the time. All right, appreciate it. All right, that's Bearcat wide receiver Johnny Holton. I'm Dan Horde for Bearcats TV.